What up, Slover Squad, to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duels, Link Evolution. This episode, it takes place after we beat Rex Raptor as Joey. Had to use a user deck, hopefully we won't have to do that as much. And time for Evil Spirit of the Ring. Later that night, the team settled down for dinner when they were visited by their high school friend, Bakura. Bakura? It's been so long since I watched the uh, anime. Bakura. As they chat around the campfire, the conversation soon turned to dueling. Let's have a duel right now. Not for starships, but just for a little fun. I'm down with that. After all the starship stuff, it'd be nice to have a duel with no strings attached. I agree. I think just an old duel sounds like a great idea. Before we get started, there's a little something I'd like to share with you. Especially you, Yugi. No, it can't be. A Millennium item? And he just turns evil just like that. Yes, and the magic of my Millennium Ring will take us to the Shadow Realm. Why are you doing this, Bakura? You have something I want, and I aim to take it. Bakura, possessed by some unknown spirit, used the power of his Millennium Ring to lock away his friend's souls. Their souls have been locked away, and now, after waiting for countless centuries, the legendary Millennium Puzzle is mine. Just as Bakura tried to grab the Millennium Puzzle, it started to glow. The spirit within the puzzle awoke, manifested manifesting itself in Yugi. No, it can't be. You want my Millennium Puzzle? Then you're going to have to duel me for it. If I win, you'll release my friends and send us all back. I agree to your ridiculous terms, Yugi, but I promise you, there's more at stake here than you comprehend, and this is one shadow game that you cannot win. And... Story deck? Isn't Bakura... It's Bakura. I think I'm saying Bakura, but I think it's Bakura. God, people probably hate me right now. I'm trying, guys. It's been so long since I Yu-Gi-Oh'd. Okay. So I think he has a Fiend deck. If I do recall. Ugh. Target any number of monsters in your graveyard, special summon them. If you do, you lose 1,000 life points for each monster, special summon. For each monster, special summon by this effect. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this card. You can only activate one soul charge per, per turn. Uh, let's go ahead and set my little friend. And end my phase. Okay. So luckily she didn't feel like finding out. And we're going to bring Summon Skull into this. Alrighty. Oh, I thought something special was going to happen. Okay, well that was easier than I thought it'd be. I, was, I always get scared summoning things because I don't know if traps are just going to get rid of my stuff right away. Okay, so he did a face down. And set another trap by the looks of it. Ooh. Eh, not really worth using, but set it down in case I lose Summon Skull for any reason. And I can use him as a tribute later. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ah. You know what? It could have been worse. We're gonna go ahead and end the phase there. Ooh, I probably should have placed that. Oh! Well, that's not good. That's why we have these kind of cards. Would be summon tribute one monster negate the summon if you do destroy that monster. Hey. Right. <sighs> do I want to? I'll risk it for the uh, biscuit. Plays Masaki, the legendary swordsman. Go into battle phase, see what happens if I attack. 
Okay, so far so good. And phase. Okay, not exactly what I want to see. But if I'm going to lose someone, let's let it be my face down card. And he is now summoned. Unsummoned. I think I used English right. Okay, let's bring in another summoned skull. I love how summoned skull has the same attack power pretty much as Dark Magician, just less defense. And he only takes one summon compared to Dark Magician's two. But I feel like almost every main character has a special that needs multiple creatures to bring in. Thank God he got rid of that one insect. Oh, do I have anything to special summon? Destroy all monsters your opponent control. Yeah, there's a reason uh, some of these cards don't exist anymore. They're a bit OP. So attack with Masaki and end it with Summon Skull. And that's how you get the W. With the destruction of the evil spirit's last card, Bakura was freed from the grip of the evil spirit. Are you okay, Bakura? I am now, thanks to you. Where'd you get your Millennium Ring? My father picked it up on one of his trips. He told me it's from ancient Egypt. He was shopping at a merchant bazaar when the Millennium Ring caught his eye. The man who sold the ring to my father said it had something to do with dual monsters. That never made any sense to me since the card game is new, and the ring is clearly ancient. When my father got back, he gave it to me. He said he felt I was destined to have it. Well, isn't that nice? He gave you demon possessions. Alright, got that 1390 DP. We're going to call that episode good here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.